Hey, my name's Tom, aka Elephant. I'm here today at DBS, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Ableton Live 12. There's usually an option, maybe it's in here. Yeah, normalize clip sample. So like that's something that, that I personally really enjoy having here because often you'll record something in or resample something and it's a little bit lower. If you just hit normalize, it basically normalizes. So this is a, a sample, so it's not going to work, but it normalizes all the peaks to zero. So that's like kind of a little audio editing thing. In terms of like chopping up audio in the, the arrangement, there's, there's not really anything that's new there. Um, kind of a big one, like a sort of a secretly big one, is uh, freeze and flatten track. So bounce in place is something that a lot of people are like, why doesn't Ableton have bounce in place? Ableton kind of has always had bounce in place with freezing and flattening, where you could right click. If you've got a MIDI track that's doing a whole bunch of things, it's got effects, and you want to write it to audio, you could right click, freeze the track, then you have to right click again, flatten the track. Kind of a bounce in place type thing. Now you can just do that all with one command. So if I've got this, let's grab some MIDI here. If I've got this little bass line, and I want this to be flattened to audio so I can, I don't know, chop it up or reverse it or whatever. Right click, freeze and flatten, boom, there's my audio, which is essentially like a bounce in place um, kind of thing. I know for people who've used Logic, there's a lot more that you can do in there. It's not quite the same, but it's, it's sort of somewhat, yeah, kind of a bounce in place type thing. Uh, yeah, take it back. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly the same as, as if a normal freeze and flatten. Um, and you can still just do freeze, because sometimes you just want to freeze a track to save a bit of CPU power or something. But yeah, if, if I had effects and things on here, all the MIDI dates, all the instruments, just gets rendered to, to audio. Uh, 